So Kendra, there are a lot of people here who are new to the area, moved in from other parts of the country. Can you kind of explain what typically happens with tropical weather uh, here in uh, this area and what can also happen uh, even if it's not typical? Yeah, you know, we're inland, obviously, so we're not right on the coast, but we get some pretty significant impacts out of these tropical systems. If they come up through the Gulf of Mexico, my number one concern is usually tornadoes, also heavy rain, because we end up on that side of the system that usually brings the worst weather. But if we end up seeing a storm by the coast, we can get some very intense winds. And then sometimes we have evacuees from the coast coming here, and that could be a big impact on our lives here um, as that happens in many situations uh, in the past. Uh, so we can have a big effect in this area, even though we're not right on the coast. Heavy rain, wind, and that severe weather threat. Usually by the time it gets here, it's dissipated some? Usually. Um, in the instance of Hugo, uh, that's the one that so many folks who've lived here a long time measure every other hurricane against. That one actually brought hurricane force gusts here because it was such a fast moving storm. But that's atypical. Typically, we don't see that kind of wind. Most of the time, these storms weaken. And that's what's going to happen with Ian. Ian is going to be weakening to the point where we'll see some rain, but we're not going to get the intense wind and in the intensity of rainfall and surge they're going to see down at the coast. Okay, Florida. so in general, what should people here be prepared for? I think the main thing is that you want to have your the first alert weather app so you can get alerts if we do have any flood advisories or flood warnings uh, because we're going to be getting waves of rain starting midday Friday and on through the day on Saturday. So we could have areas that just get too much too quickly. So some flood problems could occur. We could have some trees go down and some of the wind gusts we're looking at about 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. So nothing crazy. We're not talking like tropical storm wind, but plenty. They could cause some issues. Uh, but the main thing is just to be ready for a day where you're going to need to possibly change your plans from being outside, especially on Saturday. Be ready in case there is flooding. And also, again, have those alerts on in case we get a random tornado warning. That can often happen in these tropical environments, though the threat will be low with Ian.